So, uh, I guess setting you up with the twins didn't go so good, huh? Yeah, no shit. I'm glad you're all right, Vin. Now, can you tell me what the fuck just happened? I don't know. I saw some weird-looking guy had a limp. It was crazy, like one minute he's there, the next minute the guy just fucking disappears. I don't know, I must have hit my head or something. Look, anyways, Jimmy says he's got a lead on the crew that hit us. Good. I'll find Jimmy. Tell him to meet me in my office. I'm gonna head upstairs. Yeah, sure, whatever you need, Jackie. with Jackie and you get those two things of his. I'll take those things over horns any day. I mean, how do you think he took over the whole family so fast in the first place? That fucking thing of his, that's how. Hey, Butch. Leo. Hey, boss. We was just talking about you. Glad you got your uh, mojo back. Let's send a message to these fucks that think they can hit us. Yeah, you got that right. We're ready whenever you need us, boss. Hey, you ask me? He ain't been the same since he lost Jenny. Of course he's different now. If someone blew your girlfriend's face off in front of you, you wouldn't be farting sunshine either. Shit, no. But Jackie's tough. Nothing he can't handle, right? Yeah. Well, uh, sure as hell hope so. Now time for News and Weather Together, brought to you by the news team at News Watch 6. Popular restaurant and night spot Mama Lucchese's was the scene of a violent explosion and gunfight tonight. Details remain sketchy at this time. Police claim that emergency service response was hampered due to construction in the area. No word of any injuries at this hour. The MTA is still unable to explain the cause of a tunnel collapse in the Canal Street subway station. Foul play is suspected, but they have no leads at this time. Officials say subway service on the line may not resume for several weeks. And now for News Watch 6 weather. Expect clear skies tonight across the city, with overnight temperatures dipping down into the low 50s. But don't expect this wonderful fall weather to last. We're tracking a nasty storm system making its way down from Ontario, Canada that is expected to bring heavy winds and rain for the remainder of the week. Delays are expected. Tonight on Channel 18 Public Access. At 9 p.m., settle in for Computer Games with Scooter James, followed by a very special episode of Not Without My Homie. Then, live at 10, the naughty nurse knows what ails you. Give her a call tonight on What's This Lump? and find out if you should see a doctor. Channel 18 Public Access, where content is king. Hey, boss, you good? Someone's gonna pay for this shit. Hey, the good news is you got the old Jackie magic back. Let the see we're back in business with that thing you do, Jackie. Nothing on that crippled guy yet, boss. Jackie, don't take this the wrong way, but I got a sausage over here with your name on it. See, I knew you'd take it the wrong way. Jackie, you are a fucking hot sauce on the steak that is the Franchetti family. You crazy son of a bitch. You're too thin, Jackie. You don't eat enough good food. There, I said it. 
I wonder about all those moments lost in time, like tears in the rain. Then I'm like, fuck it, make a sandwich, it'll be okay. I love this place. I mean, it makes me happy. She better than being a miserable thin fuck. Am I right? I went to the opera the other day. That fat Viking bitch had to be the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. Why do people say the world is my oyster? It'd be more realistic if they said the world is my hungry man TV dinner or something. with God. I don't know. It just don't seem right. I think the guy's fucking nuts. You think the boss is a nut job? What, you don't? What did you say? Oh, hey, Jackie. Looking good, boss. Jackie, uh, let us know what you need, okay? Kiss ass. Shut up, cheese dick. Sir, uh, perhaps you could have a word with Master Dolfo. The neighbors have been complaining again. Who'd do such a thing, I wonder? I'm so glad you're still alive, sir. I'm so glad you took care of business, Master Jackie. I trust you're well. Who'd do such a thing, I wonder? You don't get it. You'll never get it. On the water, on my boat, I can just kick back. I ain't getting any younger. About time I take it easy, you know? It's a fucking boat, Frank. Can a boat tuck you in at night? Can a boat make you children? A boat has an anchor that I control. Not the other way around, Eddie. You calling my wife an anchor? She's my sister. I call her whatever I want. Ah, uh, you're a fucking mess. Jackie, how you doing? I'm pissed off, boys. We're gonna find these fucks. Jimmy's got some info already. How the fuck's that guy know everything? He's a goddamn encyclopedia. Encyclopedia? Listen to you, like you ever cracked a book in your life. <clears throat> this fucking guy, right? If he wasn't already married to my sister, I'd have to punish him by introducing him all over again. You talk shit, but I know we're gonna see you for dinner on Sunday. Hey, Jackie. You say the word, and we're ready to go. We got your back, boss. Thanks a lot, boys. Now drink up. It's gonna be a long night. You know what your problem is? What, aside from you? Your problem, asshat, is you ain't never been in love. Uh, I love my boat. That don't count. I love drinking. No, no, no. Real love with a person. Like I said, in love. Oh, and you have? Yeah, I've been in love. I'm in love right now. With my wife? <laughs> With my mistress? Hell, I even loved that whole Camille from the other night. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Lone Ranger gets captured by some fucking assholes, right? Indians? No, bad guys, thieves, assholes. Come on. Criminals. Sure, okay, so... Lone Ranger gets captured by a bunch of fucking criminals. When those bad guys' backs are turned, Lone Ranger sees, up on the hill across the valley, his best buddy Tano. Yeah, the Indian. No, the Native American. All right, all right, Native American. Okay, so the Lone Ranger can't escape. He's surrounded by all these assholes, right? But when nobody's looking, he snags a blanket and gets his ass over to the campfire. Where did he get a blanket? Hey, what do you fucking care? I bet it was a saddle blanket. Fine, genius. A saddle blanket. Okay, Lone Ranger grabs a fucking saddle blanket and starts fanning over the fire. He's sending smoke signals to the Yankee. The Native American, right? Fucking A right. He's sending a smoke signal. Tano sees the signal, 
nods, and tears his ass out of there. Now when Tano comes back, he's got this beautiful blonde with big ass titties with him, right? <laughs> yeah? Lone Ranger sees the blonde and shakes his head, no. So the Lone Ranger fans the fire, sending Tano to smoke signal again. Tano sees it, nods, then races off. This time, he comes back with a hot, long-legged brunette bitch, right? Right. Lone Ranger sees this chick, shakes his head again, no. Fans the flame, sends the same smoke signal a third time, off Tano goes. This time, he brings back a smoking redhead, right? Lone Ranger finally drops the blanket, just yells across the valley at the top of his fucking lungs. I said posse, you <laughs> asshole! <laughs> ah, shit. Right? <laughs> Hi, boss. Hey, Jackie. Hello! Looks like you ruined another suit. What is that blood all over your suit? You should be more careful, Mr. Jackie. You're a mess. That fat bastard. These crumbs on the floor. One more time, oh. Such a beautiful home. You really must keep it clean. Be careful, sir. Oh, yeah. I saw you again today, in the alley, down on the tracks. I still see you, everywhere I go. You torture yourself with her memory, Jackie. Jenny would never have wanted this. It scares me that you're so much like your father, Carlo. He could never let things go. And Sarah, I'm fine. How many times I gotta tell you? You're a terrible liar, Jackie. Sometimes, sometimes I, I think I see her. And it's like, it's like she's not gone. But she is gone, Jackie. You buried Jenny years ago. I know, I know. Listen, Aunt Sarah, thanks for looking out for me, but I'm okay, all right? Just got a lot on my mind right now, is all. Fine. You ever get the balls to actually talk about all this, come see me in my room. All right, fine. You want to bust my chops, then let's talk. What do you mean, like my father? I loved your father. Everyone loved Carlo. He just had that way about him. But before... before we lost him, he couldn't let things go. He became obsessed, and that obsession consumed him, Jackie. I don't want to see the same thing happen to you. Obsessed with what? It, it's not important. It, you just have to let go, Jackie. You have to move on with your life. I am, Aunt Sarah. I am. You really are the worst liar I've ever met. And I grew up with thieves. So what then? I'm seeing ghosts? I don't believe in ghosts, Jackie. But I do believe in being haunted. You need to man up and let all of this go. You're right. How come you're always right? Comes with age, kiddo. I'll talk to you later, Aunt Sarah. You know where to find me. Hey, boss. So what's what? I want you to go find somebody for me. Johnny Powell. Lives down by the Queensboro Bridge. You find him and bring him back here. Johnny Powell? Ain't that the guy that used to help you out with that thing of yours? He was a weird fuck. Whatever happened to that guy anyway? It don't matter. I need him back. Go bring him by for a visit. And hey, you don't have to be nice to him. Whatever you say, boss. I'll have the new guys go get him. Oh, hey, uh, Jimmy's waiting for you in your office. He's got a lead on the guys who hit us tonight. Thanks, Finney. Anytime, boss. 
Let me know if you need anything else. What a fucking mess, right, Jackie? Jackie, good to see you in one piece, kid. And Vinny says you got information for me. This thing at the restaurant, I just heard from Emilio Capizzi. A couple of hours later, someone torched our warehouse down at the docks, and Freddy tells me two of our boys got clipped outside of Gino's Deli tonight. Somebody's making a play. Whoever did this to us is dead. You hear me, Jimmy? There's the Jackie Estacado I know. Vinny told me you got that thing of yours back tonight. It's about fucking time. All right, all right. Just tell me what you know already. A waiter recognized one of the guys who came into the restaurant tonight. Some guy named Swifty. Oh, Swifty. Yeah, I know that prick. He left as soon as I got there. Hey, waiter. I'll take this to go. Chop, chop! I gotta run! Let's go! Oh, sorry about that, Gaston. Yeah, I never actually met him before. But I'm definitely looking forward to meeting them now. I had Vinny get some of the boys together. Let us know when you're ready to go and kick some righteous ass. Hey, Jackie. What say we go pay this asshole Swifty a visit? Let's go crack some skulls. Out of board, boss. Let's head down. Well, here we go. Time to go to work. <laughs>